hello friends welcome back to my channel so you may be thinking what this tutorial is about because I have not shown any presentation talking about you know what we are going to do so this tutorial I'm going to talk about you know how we can set up a NFS share and why we are doing this now because I want to set up a share first so that I can use that share in a docker setup where we can mount those share as a docker volume so before I proceed into the docker volume uh, tutorial to use this share I want to set up an NFS share first so I'm going to make use of this session how we can set up a you know, share on a CentOS machine so what we will do is we will have two uh, machines two CentOS machines so one machine will um, act as a NFS share server another one will act as a client so the client will access to the uh, server to get the share so that you know we can make a link or mount this uh, share into the client so we can save the data in the client machine we and which will be accessible from the server as well okay so that will be the process we will be doing so we will go through the step-by-step -step process how to install the NFS on a server side and also what client we need on uh, the client side and uh, what configuration we have to do to make the uh, share visible for the client okay so let's get started and uh, uh, before getting started I would request you to kindly subscribe to my channel like the video share and comment so the first step is to install the NFS server on one of the clients so uh, this one and I have used this client for Ansible tutorial as well so this will be my other another CentOS machine Ansible 2 so I'm using those same machines okay so but we will be doing a different kind of steps so the first uh, step is to install NFS so I'm going to use em install and the packages will be NFS utils and NFS utils hyphen lib okay so let me run this and don't worry I have uh, you know, kept all these commands in the YouTube description okay so it's asking for the installations uh, prompt so let me press yes okay so as I said you can copy the commands from the YouTube description and you can just paste it on the screen so you don't have to worry about these commands so the first step is completed so the next step is to enable the NFS service so I'm going to run the command system ctl enable nfs hyphen server dot service okay so let me run that so it's going to create a link and it will enable the service so whenever you reboot the server also it will automatically start so the next uh, command is going to be to start the server okay so i'm going to change enable to start okay so let me run the command system ctl start nfs server dot nfs hyphen server dot service okay so let's wait for this to be completed okay so that is also done so we can check the status of the server using the command status now if you see we can see the the service is running okay All right it's active okay, it's active but exited so we have to check again why it's like that okay let me restart the service first then see how it works okay let me clear out the screen okay so uh, what i understood is like this exit is not a prompt because we have not created a share uh, in the server yet so actually the service is active now so that is what we need so let me clear out the screen so we'll create a share first so that you know uh, the other client can uh, take a connection to our server okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a folder first okay so that i can map that folder as uh, uh, as a shared uh, location from the server or, or the mount point to the client okay so i'm going to name it as nfs so it's going to be nfs so the folder which we are going to use at a mount point is uh, root slash nfs okay so we need to do some changes of uh, permissions okay so if you see currently 
here let me go out so you see currently this folder is owned by root okay so we need to change the permission so that it's uh, nobody uh, having those permission like nfs nobody so uh, let me do that ch own and r it's going to be in the first snow body okay, you can just uh, run this command okay and the path is going to be root slash nfs right some typo error okay so it's here is uh, nobody okay Okay, so that is done. So now if I check, if you can see the root permission has been changed, right? Okay, and then let me also give ch mode 75 for the folder, right? Okay, so all permissions are set correctly now. So the next step is we have to put the configuration for the mount point or the share in a file called exports. So that is locator under slash etc. If you go here, there will be one folder called file called exports. So let me read that first to see what it is there. So there is nothing in it. So let's edit that file. Okay. So let me edit it and uh, what we need to enter here, I will give you the detail what we need to enter because this will define which machine can connect to this uh, share. Okay. So the first part is going to be which is our shared path. Okay. So that's going to be NFS. Okay. And the second part is going to be the IP address of the client which is going to connect to this share. So this will be the IP address of my second machine so if i check uh, you know it's going to be 145 so i'm going to give that ip address here so if you have a subnet you can just give uh, 145.0 slash 24 so all those machines can connect and we have to give these parameters so it's like uh, read write so it has to sync and this one what it says like when we run with some uh, to application or something from the other client it should allow the permission of the root uh, to make necessary changes. So these are the one no subtree. So you can refer this in the documentation for NFS more. Okay, so let me save this. So now if I read export, it should be like this, right? So this is what we have put. Okay. Now let me clear out the screen. Okay. So, let, so this is how it will be in the export. Uh, folder right export file now whenever we make ch changes in export uh, file we need to do this command so it can be applied okay so it should be export fs hyphen a so this is all what we require to be, to be done on the server side so we have the share path created and we have added that to the export so that means this for, for a location is accessible from outside now so some client want to access to this uh, shared path they can mount this share path in their uh, client machine so we'll see how that to be done in the client okay so now let's go to the client machine which is uh, this machine okay so here also in the client we need to install a, a client part of the nfs okay so let's do that first so i'm going to install uh, him install nfs iphone utils okay so let me run this command to complete the installation of that so let me press yes okay so okay that is done so let me clear out the screen okay so now what we have to do is in the client machine we have to decide which location has to be mounted to the or slash root slash nfs in the server right that is a share available now so you can map it to multiple uh, folders over also here so what i'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder, okay, KDAR, and uh, it's going to be called mount slash share, okay. So if I, if you see, there is a folder called mount, right, and inside this there is a folder called share. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to 
mount this location to the uh, NFS share from the server. So we don't have anything at this point here. So the location path will be like this slash root slash mount slash share, right? So in order to mount, what the command is, we have to use mount, okay? And the IP address of my server, so it should be 145.144, okay? So the IP address of uh, my NFS share server, so it's going to be 144. And you have to give the path, so it's going to be root slash NFS, okay? So this will be the location from the server, and to which location do you want to mount from the client machine? So that should be this location. So let's run this, okay? So this should mount uh, the server shared path to the uh, location on the client so that, you know, we can use that to save some file from the client which will be saved into your uh, server share. Okay? So let's wait what is happening. Okay, so we got an error here. Why this? Because we need to give uh, an exception through the firewall for the NFS. So let's uh, run the command to give the exception for NFS uh, in the firewall, okay? So I'm going to run this command, which is the firewall uh, uh, zone public add service and equal NFS. We have seen the similar kind of command in adding the ports to the firewall exception, right? So here it's going to be NFS. So let them, so you can see it's success, okay? And we need to reload the uh, firewall. So let's run this command as well. So we need to do the same thing on the uh, server side as well. So let me do that here as well, okay? So let me run the command for NFS to be added to firewall exception. And next, the command to reload, reload the firewall, right? So it's done in both side. Now let me try to mount the share again. Now, if you see, we did not get any error, it's uh, completed. Now, how we know that it's mounted correctly? Let's run the uh, command df-edge. Now, usually, you know, when you run df-edge, you will see these files, which is basically from the client machine itself, like how much uh, space and everything. But this time, do you see there is a new parameter called uh, you know, uh, the server IP 144 and the root.nfs which says 13 GB okay, and 12 GB is free and it's mounted to root mount share right so that means you know oh, it's mounted correctly so now currently we don't have any file inside uh, this client location and also if you see from the sorry Uh, we need to go to slash NFS, right? We need to go to the home first, then CD NFS, okay? Here also, if you see, we don't have any files. So now what we'll do is we'll go to the client, okay? So I'm going to do a, create a file. So I'm going to call it as a, a test file. I'm going to call it as TXE. And uh, I'm going to give some entries here. Hello from client machine, okay? So if you see, let me go back. Okay, let me share. Now if you see, we have a file called testfile.txt, right? And if I read that file, it will be like that. Hello from client machine. Now let me go back to the server and if I list, do you see the same file is listed here as well? So if I go to read this file, it's also does the same, right? So what does that mean? Like we are creating the file from a client and that is getting saved into the shared path on the server. So that is the concept of uh, file share in using NFS. So why I wanted to set this up is because now if we have this file share set up on um, our Docker machine, I can create a Docker volume using this file share and I can attach that Docker volume in the Docker containers and uh, you know, Docker stack. So we will have all the you know, uh, containers having accessible uh, to the file share 
volumes not on the local volumes on uh, any one of those containers so that's the thing which i'm going to do it in the next tutorials so before that i wanted to set uh, things uh, in the nfs share first so if you are facing any errors with the connection please check the firewall settings which i have told okay that would be one option uh, to check so i hope this tutorial is informative for you so if you have not uh, subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe like the video share and comment